came time when we started the Columbus Housing Partnership and I was looking who might some board members be and there'd be somebody appearing up all the time and say there's some young Methodist minister raising Cain down with city council and he's very persuasive and very convincing and I thought John Edgar would be a perfect board member. He's a dreamer and he can see the vision before others can. Reverend Edgar is not trying to sell you on him. He's selling you on what his vision is. And he does it in a way that speaks to what each of us individually have as our own aspirations for what this community can become. When he does speak up, he actually has something to say, um, which is refreshing in some of the circles that we work in. I think it's taking uh, everyone in the room, and sometimes even the folks not in the room, and um, making sure that their voice, their communication is heard and, and brought to light. Having met John kind of in you know social family circles, just very enjoyable, funny person who would always want to talk to me about what he was doing. <laughs> and um, that was a way, my way of always knowing what was going on as well. Because he is all in doing the ministry as well as the, the business part of it, the fundraising part of it. So his interest in housing hasn't just been about South Side of Columbus. It hasn't just been about community development for all people. That fun He recognizes the fundamental need for safe and stable housing. The mayor at the time said we needed champions from the South Side to emerge and step forward because the South Side Settlement House was in decline. And within two days, he called and said, I'm in. I said, who is this guy? Reverend Egger has been able to put vision and ideas into play. And so it's never an if when you hear about an idea from Reverend Egger, it's a when. And so we've been able to see that through the projects that have come to fruition through Community Development for All People. The bike shop, Bikes for All People, uh, has been able to help so many young young children in this community. You now you see bikers who are preparing for Pelotonia, from bikers who are using their bicycles every day to get to and from work, and they're all coming into this third space, another term that we've learned from Reverend Edgar. It's not where you live, it's not where you work, but it's where people convene, and so the bike shop has become a third space. And he talked about a little bit about the vision that they had, um, that he had for the um, free store, and that he was glad to see more diverse people coming to be um, volunteers it goes to the areas that John touches, which is, you know, the bikes, the fresh food, the, the clothing, the, the job uh, job creation in, in the south side. To see a drive through carry out become a fresh food market where families who need access to produce can go each and every day, grab what they need, and be able to support their families for healthy eating and living uh, has just been a tremendous project. The main thing of the Reed Project, we were trying to uh, get the uh, Southside Learning and Development School out of this old building and into a new one. He, he actually uh, is our community quarterback. You know, he acts in there to, to figure out where everybody should be situated in the playing field and how to get everybody together and people who normally don't talk. And we couldn't ask for a better partner in the community. When you have great partners like Homeport and Reverend Edgar and then great uh, champions uh, in the community. Nationwide Children's Hospital, uh, I think, far and away, is one of the greatest partners and champions for neighborhoods anywhere in this city. Now people look at the South Side and the Reeb Center especially as the place where we want to be. And with the nonprofits all working together, it all comes back to collaboration, partnerships. That's what John has done, that's what he's created. Look at what he's done with Nationwide Children's Hospital, what he's done with Homeport, what he's done with Ohio Capital Corporation for Housing. He's able to see where interests converge and look at leverage and look at ways people can come to a win-win solution. Especially when you think of the neighborhood engagement and just the, the grace that he extended to all neighbors. Uh, there's a, a saying, don't do something for me without me because then you do it to me. And I don't think he's ever done anything to anybody. He's done a lot of things with people. John's legacy to me will be the people. And uh, I can see, foresee sometime in the future where the people that he's working with now, you'll take a, a young man or a young lady, come up to him sometime in the future, and, and, and just shake his hand and say thank you. He has created such a wake uh, out of his leadership and his passion mm -hmm. and his focus. Mm -hmm. We're benefiting from That's the legacy right. in, in real time. 
He believes that every person, every family, every neighborhood has assets that can be leveraged to improve the quality of life and that strengths-based approach that he takes to people, to families and neighborhoods uh, has transformed. He's got the substance, he's got the presence, he's got the uh, recognition, he's got the confidence of all the community, both private and public sectors in Columbus. Pastor John, my brother, my friend, uh, my leader, and my mentor, congratulations on this well-deserved recognition. Congratulations, John. It's an honor to be able to know you and be able to work with you and have the opportunity to see the impact you've had in Columbus. You're a role model and a mentor, and I'm grateful to be in partnership with you. Congratulations. I just want you to know it's been great knowing you, and uh, you really, uh, you really deserve this award, so thank you. Congratulations, John. It is such an honor to have um, worked with you. Congratulations, and let's get back to work as soon as you're done with this. Congratulations. I can't think of somebody more deserving of this recognition. John, over the years, you've been a wonderful friend, and this evening is certainly an opportunity for all of us in Central Ohio to wish you the very best and congratulate you on all the work that you've done in the trenches. Reverend Edgar, thank you for it all. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your leadership through love and for grace for all of your neighbors and for all of Central Ohio. From all of us at Nationwide Children's Hospitals, thank you for your partnership. John, can't tell you how proud I am, not only of the work that you do, but our association and the partnership that we have. We are thrilled to have you as a voice and a vision for our community. Thank you for all your contributions. God bless. Congratulations, John. And we love you. John, thank you for allowing us to be part of your ministry and the help that you give. John, congratulations and thank you for all your partnership. Uh, that you've been able to give to us. The city remains a committed partner uh, to you and your work uh, on the south side and in neighborhoods throughout our great city. Congratulations. Thank you for all you do for the people on the south side and the people for Central Ohio. John, we are thrilled that you are receiving this award. Nobody more deserving. You're spending your life doing what we are so proud of, and that is helping those who are most disadvantaged and most in need of your help. So congratulations. You make us all better in what we do and you make the community better every day. Congratulations, there's nobody more deserving than you.